Congress here this morning. And the millions more nationwide. These eight women are here today. Strong, powerful, and caring. Empowered by the belief that breast cancer will not be there. Filled with love, they encircle those we have lost. out towards you today, filled with healing. They reach out to those who are going through what so many have survived, and yet others continue to battle. They stand as proof that we can overcome breast cancer, that the future holds a brighter road, an ever-growing circle of survivors. Our cries of optimism will turn to shouts of victory. We can do this. This is a battle we will win. extraordinary community together. We walk with the certainty that we can bring an end to breast cancer. This certainty isn't based just on hope, even though it is hope that has brought us here together. This conviction doesn't come only from faith, even though we pray for the day breast cancer never touches another soul. What we have here today is an overwhelming confidence that the road ahead will lead to an end of the tears and to a day when we no longer have to answer the call that has brought us here. And that day is coming because we have with us today living proof of the spectacular innovations in detection, the thrilling strides forward in treatment, the exciting news of yet another piece of the puzzle being solved, leading to the moment when the entire world rejoices in the ultimate breakthroughs. Soon, you will be taking the first steps of your Susan G. Coleman three-day. All along the path, there will be new friends who will guide you through. And you will provide helping hands and strong shoulders for others. You will laugh like you've never laughed. And you may even cry. That's okay, too. Let yourselves be present every step of the way. That open road has your name on it. Are you ready to answer the call? Are you ready? step up? Then let me hear you say you're ready! Oh yeah! You're ready! Survivors, can you please lead us to the start of our journey? These walkers are ready to roll! 